Hello everybody and welcome to Less Loved. Last week we took a look at Universal Remote. If you have not seen that video, I will leave a link in the description to both the Less Loved video and the Less Loved Live video. By the way, Universal Remote, still one of my favorite exotics. People talk crap about it. You guys are crazy. Universal Remote is amazing. <laughs> now, after you guys have suggested a lot of different weapons, especially probably three or four specific ones that you want me to do, I decided to go ahead and pick a weapon that I feel is not going to be in the less love category for very long. So I better do it before it goes into the awesome most loved category. And that gun is Bad Juju. Bad Juju is a fully automatic pulse rifle and arguably one of the best looking weapons in the game. The stats that come on Bad Juju is you have increased accuracy when firing from the hip, you have armor piercing rounds so you can shoot through those walls, send it which gives you increased range and accuracy, and perfect balance which is going to increase your stability. And then of course it has the insane, ridiculous node that does a billion things called String of Curses. And what String of Curses does for bad juju is every time you get a kill your weapon reloads automatically so you do not have to reload it it increases your damage for a short period of time and it also gives you more super energy every time you kill someone so the reason that we are covering bad juju this week and not no lamb beyond because i'm sure a lot of you are very aware that no lamb beyond was suggested by many 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 people is because there is a buff coming to pulse rifles very 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 soon maybe even this week and a lot of people had suggested bad juju so I wanted to do it before the buff comes because I definitely feel like bad juju is gonna be one of the best weapons in the game after this buff does come to destiny so let's go ahead and talk about the things that I love about bad juju first of all it is green you guys should know by now that I like me some green. It just looks super cool. Ever since I saw it, I was like, oh, this weapon is so pretty. It's just so pretty. It's, it's really pretty. Bad Juju is really pretty. <laughs> but moving on to more of a gameplay point of view rather than just a visual one, Bad Juju performs really well. It has a really good rate of fire, really good stability. It's fully automatic, which doesn't seem like a big deal to a lot of people, but I definitely prefer the fully automatic pulse rifles. I just really like them. I think that all of the fully automatic pulse rifles tend to do really, really good. And they are gonna be so awesome after this update because I actually think that Bad Juju is not a bad weapon already. It does a good amount of damage. It pumps out decent damage. It's 24 crit hits. That was a terrible way to word it. Wow, I'm really bad at this. It's 24 damage headshots. That's a much better way, which is already pretty good. And then when you're killing people, you're going to have an increase in that damage. Now, this is when things get super awesome and amazing and just really fun. <laughs> is when you're surrounded by a bunch of people and you're straining those kills together with bad juju. It's awesome because you don't have to reload. I've been in a few situations where I'm like, what other gun could have done this? And I'm like snapping my fingers. What other gun has got the ability to do this? No other gun could do it. So many situations I would have had to reload, possibly have died because I had to reload, but I didn't have to with bad juju because of this string of curses perk that it does have. Now, of course, not having to reload and doing increased damage is awesome. But what is more awesome is getting increased super energy gain whenever you kill a person. Let's watch this clip, shall we? This is from the very beginning of a control match, and we are going to be seeing just how fast you can get your super. Now, of course, not every single one of these kills is from Bad Juju, but Bad Juju just helps pump those kills up. I got a capture, I got some kills with the shotgun, but I also got a decent amount of kills with Bad Juju, and I got my super way faster than I would usually get it. If you pay attention to the little super bar at the bottom, the little white bar, I'm sure you guys know where your super energy is on your screen by now. <laughs> if you pay attention to it, you will see how much super energy is being gained from each of the actions that I'm performing. And you will notice that when I'm killing people with bad juju, it does increase it by a really significant amount. You get a freaking huge burst of super energy when you're killing people with the juju. So that's why I really, really love this gun. That's why I would use it. That's what you use bad juju for. Yes, not reloading. Awesome. Increased damage. 
awesome. But being able to pump out more super kills is even more awesome. Now that was actually also a down point with Bad Juju when it came to putting this video together. Because I found that a lot of my kills were with my super. I was having to really go through all of the gameplay to find the Bad Juju kills because I was just having more supers available to me throughout the game. Now of course if you pair this with Obsidian Mind as a warlock, you are literally gonna have Nova Bombs just all the time. All the time. For those of you that don't know what Obsidian Mind does by now, when you kill someone with your Nova Bomb while you're wearing Obsidian Mind, it reduces the cooldown of your next Nova Bomb. Pair that with Bad Juju, man, it's crazy. <laughs> it gets pretty crazy. And I'm just so, so looking forward to this buff to Pulse Rifles because I really think that you're probably going to see people just running around with Pulse Rifles. Because in my opinion, the Pulse Rifles like Oversoul Edict, Red Death, Bad Juju, Praetis Timepiece, etc. They're already good. They're already good weapons. No, they're probably not the best weapons in the game, although Red Death freaking kicks my ass quite a lot. I don't have that weapon. It makes me sad. But they're really good. They're competent weapons. So to buff them is going to make them just amazing. So I'm really, really, really excited. People are going to come back to this video and be like, let's love Bad Juju. Who don't like Bad Juju? Bad Juju is an amazing weapon. That's what's gonna happen. That's exactly what people are gonna say. <laughs> now it's really funny because I hear some people say that Bad Juju is a warlock weapon. Where did you guys get that from? I think it like belong to a warlock. I think that's as far as it goes. But this weapon is not just for warlocks. Bad Juju does not discriminate against people. It doesn't just give warlocks their super energy. It gives super energy to everybody. So it doesn't matter who you are, what class you play, no matter where you come from, Bad Juju is going to be giving you more super energy whenever you pick up a kill and that is awesome how can you hate a weapon that is green and gives you more super energy you just can't it's just not possible <laughs> so i hope you guys enjoyed this video i would ask you guys to suggest the gun for the next video but there's no point i already know it's gonna be no land beyond which kind of ruins the surprise oh well it's gonna it's gonna probably be no land beyond all of you guys want to see that weapon because it's 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 great. It's a great weapon. <laughs> okay, guys, I will speak to you awesome people later. Bye. This isn't a fight. It's a massacre. You can fight by my side anytime, Guardian.